Mostly, I owe this moment to the good people of Indiana. Words really cannot describe the honor it's been to serve the people of this state. You know, I, uh, I grew up the grandson of an Irish immigrant. Came to this country when he was about my son's age, in his 20s. He raised that precocious redhead at the end of the stage. And she and my late father lived the American dream. I grew up on a little house in Columbus, Indiana, on 31st Street. A little cornfield in the backyard is still there to this day. And we were all raised to believe that anybody could be anybody in this country. That if you work hard, you pray harder, you look after your family, you grab your dreams, sky's the limit. But I'll tell you one other little secret. When Mark and Lynn came to Washington to take some pictures for this portrait, Mark had me leaning against something and arms folded, and I was completely uncomfortable. And uh, Karen came down. I think she must have sensed that things weren't going well. So she came downstairs and said, how's it going? And she stood behind Lynn as she was taking a picture. And uh, she snapped a picture of me looking at my wife. It was just one. And when all the pictures came back, the consensus choice of everyone was the smile on Mike's face when he was looking at Karen. Thank you for putting that smile on my face. Thank you for bringing us here. Thank you for being the love of my life.